awesome stuff. Hey, what's up everyone? Down here in Nova Scotia, it's another cloudy day, unfortunately. We can't get very much sunlight out for this week, of course. So, uh, hopefully everything turns out good for this viewing situation. There's the uh, natural, well, no, not the natural museum of history, but one of the uh, museums down here in Nova Scotia on the waterfront side. Down here during the summer is filled with people. It's just hustle and bustle of activity everywhere. Got the buskers going on, got different uh, venues, got harbor tours, all kinds of stuff. Big boat right there. Got all the different venues here. Poutines, ice cream, and right there, beaver tails. Oh, if you never had a beaver tail, you might want to have some of those. It's a treat that, oh, it's just so delicious. And of course, it's not open. Not too bad. Oh, here we got a big ship coming in. Usually they have uh, Theodore the Tugboat up the way here. The, uh, you can get tours on it and go out in the harbor and everything. So we'll see if it's up docked. By the looks of it, it doesn't look like it is though. You never know. Yeah, there's the booth right there, that yellow building. Theodore the tugboat. But, we got no Theodore. Let's see where he's usually parked right there. But there, uh, there's nothing. Oh no! We got a boat collision. The ferry and the boat there. Oh geez. They're getting awfully close to each other. Uh oh, watch out. So yeah, if you don't know anything about Nova Scotia or Halifax, uh, back in the early days here, I'm not sure the exact date, uh, 1900s, early 1900s, uh, there was the Halifax explosion. Two, uh, two ammunition ships were coming in the harbor here, and uh, both of them loaded to the guild. They were going, one was going, coming in and one was coming out. One was called the Mont Blanc, the other was called the Emo. Emu. It was called the Emu. Emo, Emo, something like that. And anyway, they, uh, they collided into one another, and uh, I guess stories were that it was just chaos down here when that happened. It blew up so, so forcefully that you could see the bottom of the, uh, the Halifax Harbor here. On top of those two ships exploding, I had figures that, you know, the situation would only get worse for them. That same night, they had a major snowstorm and the explosion was so big from those two ships that it, it, they felt it from, you know, Dartmouth, Bedford, and that's Sackville, and that's, you know, 15, 20 minutes away, a good drive. Uh, some pieces of the ship landed a few kilometers away. They, they found them in later years. Big anchors, big hunks of metal, just, just massive pieces landed kilometers away from it. So it was a pretty, pretty nasty, nasty explosion. How unfortunate that it had to happen, and of course that the situation got worse, that they got a snowstorm. Thousands of people, you know, homeless, out in the cold in the winter. Oh, I couldn't even imagine. I couldn't even imagine. It was just chaos. Like it got struck with a huge atom bomb down here. I'm actually really surprised how nice it is down here. When I was leaving home, it was just windy as all heck. So. Down here it seems to be okay, even though we're, you know, right beside the water, you'd think it'd be a little bit more windy. Hopefully the, nothing, nothing got picked up on the videos, but uh, I'm real happy. That place right there is always busy in the summer. I'm going to bond at the casino now. I uh, probably should stay away from that place. Uh, we don't really get along. There was one good night I had down there. 
but upon winning, I won about $700. And upon winning, we were heading home, and the, there we go, there's some good sunlight. And the cab that we were in was a casino taxi cab, and I uh, hit some black ice, and boom, right into the median. Going about, you know, 100, 110 or so. Look at that. Got a Navy ship there. So one more street up is the uh, the convention center, the Nova Center. You can see it right here out to the side. That big glass structure right there. We'll be heading up to that. Apparently that church right there, when you walk by the side window, you're supposed to see a silhouette of an old woman. I don't know who that old woman was, or whether or not it's true, but apparently it's haunted. Right in downtown Halifax. Here's the ground view of the new convention center. He's a big one. The company that I work for, we did the steel for both those towers, and it was not fun doing. Sun's kind of in the way here. Here it is on the other side. Big building. That's only the first tower that they got the glass on. That tower right there is connected to it. Coming up onto Citadel Hill now. Citadel Hill was back here since the, I don't know if it was the first war or the second war, but it, it's been here forever. It's a, it's a base, it's a military base. And uh, it's shaped, if you look it up, it's shaped on like a, like a star. It gave every it gave everybody here a strategic advantage to look down upon the city. Now everything that you see from the base is underground. I tell you, this is my first time vlogging in public, pretty much. And all the sounds and the hustle and bustle of the city, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. So I have no idea how these are going to turn out. Right there, at the clock tower. That's been there eons and eons. The Metro Center is where we're getting home to our Halifax Mooseheads. So here it is right here. It's, now, it's not even called the Metro Center anymore, it's Scotia Bank Place. Well, there you go folks, it's the old clock tower, and it was there since 1803. Hoo hoo, ancient, ancient, ancient. Just on our way up to Citadel now. There's the Scotiabank place, home of the Halifax Mooseheads. There's that clock tower, 1803 it's been there. Long time for a structure. A little bit of stairs up here and uh, I tell you it's a little bit of a workout. I did legs at the gym yesterday and I'm feeling it today. First time at the gym in I don't know about three weeks so I'm a little slow off the get-go today. I'm gonna stop right here for a little bit and uh, see if I can figure out how to do time-lapse. <laughs> a little cold waiting for that time lapse. I really hope it worked out. But I'm just going to take a walk up to the top of the citadel here, get a little bit of footage, and uh, I think I'll be hitting somewhere to get some lunch. Here we have an awesome violinist. I'm going to give him a bit of change.
some stuff. Gotta love the East Coast. You never know what you're gonna find. Good East Coast music down here, guy playing a violin. Can't get any better than that. Here we are back to where we started. We're going down the other way of the waterfront now. Right over across the way there, that island, has another base on it. Just an observation point for uh, when ships or, you know, anything was coming in the harbor be the first way to get in and kind of the first line of defense before they could get into the actual main part of the harbor here. So I got my other lens on right now and we'll see how close we can get up to this lighthouse right there. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. But yet, not a very big island. Not a very big island. You can see on the ridge up there, there uh, that's the walls for the uh, sunken down base. I think I'm gonna go take a, take a bus ride back home, I think. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is the, uh, the Halifax waterfront. And uh, as always, you know, keep the adventures alive and the videos coming, guys. This is Adventurous Adam taking off.